Alright, so this sewer is bellied from right here all the way back almost to the toilet flange. Now there is a lavy faucet that ties in, there's a floor drain and a main stack over here in this wall. There is also a laundry that ties in somewhere between that toilet and this line. So we're gonna have to bring some fittings for all this. Now right here, this piece of tape, there's two holes. There are big chunks missing out the bottom of the pipe. So we're gonna have to jackhammer from here to there. Uh, it's about two and a half feet deep and pull out all this pipe. Uh, and then from there, you know, backfill tape the grade down. I need plastic on this opening right here. See that door opening? I want to plastic off that door. And then I want to build a plastic bubble in here from this edge of this wall around and behind that door, then floor covering through here. Uh, we also need to be careful of his walls, they're new. Uh, he also would like to make sure that this toilet flange, when we re reset it, is a little farther forward so that his toilet sets easier and so that he can buy a toilet if he ever needs to to replace that one without having to be really diligent about measuring. We're going to have to block off this door. I want to put plastic all the way around this bathroom. The walls are freshly painted. Make sure everything stays clean. Uh, outside, is a horse of a different color. It's also a belly. And there's not a lot of room, which you will see. And so we need to be able to take out some stuff. Man, I need to get out this way. So the belly starts right here, this green mark. Uh, but we're gonna dig back just a little bit. We're gonna pull up this hosta now. It shoots at a slight angle across this walkway. These are just slight pavers that we're gonna be able to move now. Uh, we're going to have to move some stuff, some ferns, some some bushes. We're going to have to take out that maple tree. I don't see another way of doing it so that we can dig down here. It's eight feet deep. Uh, and so we're going to have to put the plywood and the plastic back here and some here so that we can be able to drop a shore box in through here. It's about 10, 12 feet long. It's really not that long. Uh, and pull out all this stuff and put it all back. So it's going to be a fun area to work in. And that's what we got.